you sold me uh, a basket of uh, Musam King durian. One basket. Plenty. And it was 1,000 ringgits for the basket. So I said, thank you. I love Musam King. Very nice. But uh, I don't have the 1,000 to pay you now. Can you give me some time? So he asked me, how much time do you want? I said, give me one month. I pay you after one month. He said, okay. Then in, in that condition, you pay an extra 100. So instead of paying me 1,000, you pay 1,100. Because I have to wait for the money. The first price, 1,000, is the cash price. The second price, 1100, is the credit price. So the difference between the two is because, not because of the durian, is because of time. That money can increase over time. That is riba. Money cannot increase over time. So, in Islam, the religion of Islam, which came all through the ages, credit price must be the same as cash price. If the credit price is higher than the cash price, the difference between the two would be riba. Number two. In Islam, transactions must always be cash transactions. That is the norm of a business transaction, must always be cash. And only when the customer cannot pay cash, only then would you have a credit transaction. Like the Prophet himself bought grain from the, from the merchant, but he did not have the cash, so he got time. That became a credit transaction. But the credit price is the same as the cash price. Good. So now, if the house is selling for one million in uh, Tamantun, Dr. Ismail, one million, and you don't have the one million, and you come to me, and I say, okay, I will sell the house to you and give you time to pay. The cash, the cash price is one million, but because you're taking it as a credit now, the new selling price is two million. And I give you five years in which to pay. So the cash price is one million, and the credit price is two million. Is this halal? Is it? Huh? Good. The difference between the cash price and the credit price is riba. But suppose you give it a nice big name, you call it Mora Baha. <laughs> yeah? Nice big name, Morabaha. That both buyer and seller are aware. They are aware the cash price is one million. And buyer and seller are both aware of the margin of profit, namely one million more. Hmm? And now you have a new selling price of two million. And of course, it's a credit transaction because you have time to pay. This is my way of introducing you to something called Islamic banking. <laughs> yeah. Islamic banking. When they are in the grave, they will say, if we used to listen and if we used to think, we wouldn't be in the hellfire today. Yeah. It's bogus. It's fraudulent. It's riba. Islamic banking today. This transaction.